UCA was in national headlines because the Bears were the first team in America to play and win a college football game in 2020. But coming into this weekend, they hadn't played in 23 days. So let's see if they can shake off the rust and beat Missouri State. Go! Go on now! It's the Bears versus the Bears. 1-1 one one UCA hosts 0-1 oh Missouri State in the first of a home-and-home home series. A sloppy first quarter offensively as the teams trade turnovers, so we enter the second quarter scoreless. But special teams gives Missouri State the early edge. A field goal and a block punt return for a score puts UCA in a 10-point hole. Midway through the second, UCA's defense comes up big, forcing a fumble and jumping on it. UCA set up in the red zone. Kier Crossley finishes the job, finding room on the edge. UCA gets on the board, still down 10-7, but Missouri State widens that gap before half as Kashawn Parkley bullies his way through the middle for a touchdown. The northernmost Bears go into half leading 17-7, and until late in the third, UCA couldn't get anything going. A Missouri State field goal makes it a 27 ball game. At that point, UCA had just a 10% chance of winning. But with just a quarter remaining, a rapid comeback begins for UCA. Braylon Smith lasers to Tyler Hudson. And the Bears cut the deficit to seven. In the very first play of the fourth quarter, Missouri State ball. And the ball is on the ground. Dre Matthews scoops, sprints, scores, and celebrates. High game at 20. Ensuing possession ends in a three and out, and on the punt return, Tyler Hudson sees daylight and takes it. <laughs> Hudson all the way to a lead taking score. UCA on top 27 20 with 14 minutes to go. That's right, it took only two and a half minutes for the Bears to put up 20, and those points would go unanswered. UCA defense holds on two fourth down attempts as UCA outlasts Missouri State. Hey, first of all, hey, give yourselves a hand, guys. You win. Let me see you guys. Hey, hey, nobody expects to be pretty. Nobody expects it to be easy. None of that. We've been 23 days off. That's like starting a new season. What a comeback and what a win for these UCA Bears. Beating Missouri State 27 to 20. Head coach Nathan Brown knows this win is going to carry momentum into next week when they play FCS champ North Dakota State. Well, one, is a good confidence builder to get a win, you know, regardless how you get it. Again, there's no ugly win in my book. You know, I tell our guys that all the time, and if a coach or a fan says that, they're crazy. Winning a college football game is hard, and that's a good team. They're well coached by Coach Petrino and his staff. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you don't want to go into North Dakota with a loss under your belt, especially especially a tough one like that. So our guys found a way. Uh, we were we're a scrappy group, you know. Look, we're gonna we're gonna make mistakes and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, you know figure it out. But but again, finding a way to win against a well coached team, a talented team at that. There was a lot of talent on that field. That quarterback was, you know, he could make plays with his feet and had enough arm strength to make some good throws. So uh, I'm just really pleased with the way our guys responded throughout the game. Four, five, six, seven. That's all here from Conway as UCA improves the two and one on the season, beating Missouri State 27 to 20. Nick Walters, Fox 16.